Hi everyone, Princess Elizabeth here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys a DIY that I want to make. I was in HomeSense the other day, and while I was in there, I saw these signs, these decor signs that said one said kitchen and one said cook, and they also had the eat sign, which I already have an eat sign that I made, but I like the one that said kitchen and the one that said cook. And um, I picked them up, and I was walking around with them, and then I just said to myself, you know what? I can do this on my own. Why am I going to spend this money and I can make this myself? And I said, yeah. So I put them back because, you know, I'm a diva on a budget. I like to save wherever I can. Wherever I can save a penny, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, so I went into Dollar Tree and I didn't see the items that I wanted. So I went to Dollarama and there I found the plaque and, um, some other stuff that I wanted to use for this DIY. So the items that I have I got from Dollar Dollarama, sorry. Yeah, so but you can also get the, the plaque and stuff. I know in America you have other dollar stores over there. And um you could probably get the plaque or even at Walmart and stuff like that. Or you don't even have to use the plaque with this DIY that I'm doing. Yeah, so I'll show you the items that I got and I'll show you how I did my kitchen and cook decor signs. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, here are the plaques that we need. I have three of them. They come with this um, chain on them, but you just screw it off and then it will look like this. And we have some white paint that we're going to be using, the Mod Podge, the large glitter, and these are the letters I got from Dollarama that we're going to be using and our paintbrush and I'll be hanging them up with the command strips and our glue gun all right we're gonna start by removing the chains and then we're gonna paint I'll be doing two coats of paint on the plaque to make sure the white is very um, predominant and now we're going to paint the letters but we're only going to put one coat of paint on the letters I just want to paint it white that um I don't like when the wood shows through the glitter anywhere that doesn't the glitter doesn't touch you'll just see a white background this step is optional you don't have to do that if you don't want to I just don't like when the wood is showing through and now we're going to use the Mod Podge and add the glitter to our letters Okay, now that everything is dry, we're going to place our letters onto the plaque. And we're going to spell out kitchen. Half the letters on one plaque and the other half on the other plaque. And now we're just going to take the hot glue and glue them down to the plaque. And now we're going to do the same steps with the cook sign, adding the letters to the plaque. Okay, everyone, I'm going to put this clear gloss over because it's a sealer. So I'll be spraying it over the letters on the plaque to seal in the glitter. And here's our finished look, everyone. Our kitchen and our cook sign. I think they look very nice. 
Tell me where he gone, go. Tell me why you may not here. Tell me why isn't he here? Why isn't he here? Yeah. You just need somebody that's gonna be there for you, girl. You need somebody that's gonna be there for you. That's me, you know I'm waving. And here's where I place them. Over the sink, I put the kitchen sign. And over by the stove area, I put the cook sign. And I did the white background on the plaque to just blend in with my cupboards. And here's the eat sign that I did a few months ago, everyone. I think it was about a month ago. I didn't um, put up where I put them in the kitchen. And a lot of you were asking me that you wanted to see it. So this is where I placed it on the other side of my kitchen above the microwave counter. All right, everyone. Thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did for today. And I hope I've inspired you a little more. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Pet Tell is Bless. Because I'm